Hey guys, it's Anthony here, Subaru Service. You know, I haven't documented each individual one, but I'm going to start now. I'm going to start documenting every single one, and because I'm sick and tired of it, I've had it. It's uh, I've lost. I mean, I'm 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 just about to hit the twenty thousand dollar mark of lost just shop time from fixing this crap. Uh, this is this is Rex right here. This is his truck. When did uh? When did you first notice a leak? Last week, about Tuesday or Wednesday. So about a week ago. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we've got this right here. This is his invoice. 129 of 15 is the date of when we did everything. So yeah, installer error, right? You know, it's been almost two years. So yeah, yeah, that's gotta be installer error. You know, <laughs> whatever. But let's go ahead and look down here. There you go. Now I got that thread started on FTE. Where, uh, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna just gonna keep that thread going, and I'm gonna add videos. I, I'm just gonna keep adding videos to it. Uh, I got, I had one show up last night too, and they come in droves. It's like I'll go three months with nothing, and then I'll, I'll get hit. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, I actually just did one about uh, uh, two weeks ago or a week and a half ago. I just did one uh, where we're swapping it out and I'm putting my intake on it. I know you guys were asking, uh, why don't I have them on the website? Uh, I work on trucks here. I mean, I got, I got, the, I got uh, trucks inside. It's Sunday. You know, this is, it's, it's Sunday right now. What's the day today? I don't even know. It's, it's the Sunday before Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is uh, this week coming up, 2016. So, you know, I mean... I don't know if if I if I put them on the website, I'm kind of I'm kind of I'm getting ready to build infrastructure, I guess, because if I put them on the in, on the go ahead and go public with them, we're going to have to start knocking them out. We're going to have to start making them um, right now. I'm selling them as fast as I can make them in the shop. I'll show you one in a minute. I'm, I'm actually on the I'm not I can't pause the video. So uh, on this one, it gets a better picture quality, but I'll go ahead and show this again. Let's show this one. See it right there. IPR to the freaking rescue. Okay, now I've got Donald's truck. Okay, let's look over here at Donald's truck. This is this is the one, you guys. I don't know if uh, those of you that are on FTE, he was on his way to Iowa, uh, driving through Kansas City, and got a. I mean, he's got. I don't know. I hate to be that shop that condemns a high pressure pump. I have not. I have not opened the hood yet. But this is what I walked into this morning. Let me go ahead and and go down here and look. Let's see if you can, because it was dripping. Like, let me see. I looked over a second ago and I saw a drip. Whatever, I don't know. It's dripping right now. Now, coolant. Okay, this is, this is, I think it's coolant. Uh, I, I haven't even popped the hood yet, so I don't even know what it's. Uh, we've been cleaning up the Wounded Warriors parts, getting the shop ready. It's Sunday. We're getting ready for the next week. I uh, gotta gotta straighten things up and get going. Uh, but you know, it just it just it just comes. This hit me by surprise. I wasn't even expecting this. I I pulled up and what the hell is this? Uh, it's always leaking coolant. This is this is the one from FTE. Uh, what has he got? Uh, need shop recommendation or something like that? I don't, or I, I don't remember what the name of his thread is, but uh, uh, so we got a whole bunch. Of, I have not popped. We're getting ready to pop the hood now. Now we're going to see what he's got under the hood here. Uh, remember, we're I'm going through IPR leak hell. IPR coolant filter. Got red residue all over the damn thing. Got the IPR ex external coolant filter or coolant uh, oil cooler. Uh, haven't quite looked to see what the leak is. You know, granted, who knows what it could be. But I'll have to get up under there and look and see where it's coming from. I don't know if uh, I figured I would just open the hood. We got massive freaking coolant leaks. I probably should have a light. I might, I'll make another video of this one. But he's got the oil cooler relocate kit with the manifold down on the bottom with the coolant filter 
setup. The upside down setup that, you know, that's just freaking genius. You know, absolutely genius. Let's go ahead and put a filter upside down so you unscrew it and you get coolant down. You know, I mean, yeah, absolutely. That's freaking genius. Why don't we just uh, go ahead and put it in the dash, you know, and put it right on, on the dash so you can open it up and spill it all over the place. Whatever. Freaking whatever. But uh, I'll make another video showing what this one is. Uh, we haven't touched it yet. It, it, you know, that'll come later. We'll, I'll have other videos on that. But, you know, I thought it's kind of ironic with uh, the thread I just started on FTE and then, uh, you know, I, and then uh, Rex showed up. His is leaking, and then the Texas the Texas excursion here got puddle of freaking coolant. There it goes. I don't know if you saw it. It just dripped again. Puddle of coolant dripping underneath. Um, Donald put this on, and he said it's probably the manifold flange down on the bottom for the high, for that full flow coolant filter. He said it's probably that leaking. So I don't know. I'll make another video of it because what the hell? You know, it's just absolutely freaking disgusting whatever but thought i would show this one i'm gonna start documenting all of them all right guys have a good day